Hello, it's Kyle from Regrettable Props. We're going to be tackling another part of the Orkai build today. Currently, you see on screen blue, white, and fabric. I just picked them as these up from a fabric place. You see a rope. It's about one inch in diameter. You see some stretchy olive drab pants. I picked these up at a Goodwill. Uh, an olive green long sleeve shirt. That's also picked up at Goodwill. And same with the brown and the gray long sleeve shirts these are all picked up at goodwill that way i can save on costs i made them i purchased them a little bit larger than what i needed that way i could tailor them in and had some excess material when doing so currently we're going to be tackling this piece of fabric that goes over the back portion of those wood slats um, currently i'm just going over this with my mom she's going to be helping me doing sewing since i don't have the best experience what i did is i'm just going to be doing the white and blue having it attached but on a diagonal um, seam line so what we're doing is just going over and what we're saying is we're doing the cut edge folding it over once and then folding it again and then we're just pinning it down um, and then afterwards we're doing these to all the edges and then we're just gonna tack this together with some needles and we're gonna use an iron to iron these creases to make it easier for sewing and then we're going to obviously use some white and blue thread for the proper areas here you can currently see on screen we're just testing out the stitching make sure you guys find one that you like do it on a test piece of fabric that way you don't actually use your piece that you're finding and you're finding you don't have the right stitching or tension someone who, people who are watching this who have better experience with sewing will understand what i'm saying but once me and my mom have figured and agreed on a stitching and tension and everything that we're happy with we'll be sewing it together like you currently see the blue and the white um, and then after we're doing the diagonal seam for connecting the blue and white we're going to be doing the edges for the white and the blue and if you guys have sewing experience like i mentioned before you guys will obviously best understand how to do this this is more of a guide than a tutorial for the fabric section since i mentioned in a previous video i don't have the best sewing experience but in regards to some of the other steps i may be doing or will be doing with the fabric i am able to give a better and lengthy description on how to achieve that look so i'll be joining you back in a little bit leave you some music while you guys watch the next few parts on the sewing Now as you can see on screen, here's the reference image to my character. You see that initial design is obviously not the same, but you can see the amount of distressing and torn and damage that's been done to this fabric. So what I'm going to be trying doing is emulating that by using some scissors at first, hacking away uh, to get a rough idea for the type of look I'm trying to achieve. Um, just using scissors, cutting it one way, and then going back on it to have an inconsistent cut, doing small little cuts, that way it seems more natural. Um, Punish, uh, no, Tested has done a tutorial on weathering fabric. Uh, I will post a link to that in the description, going into the idea about that. But there's many ways you can go into weathering fabric or distressing and aging it. Um, using scissors, using gardening tools, rubbing it in dirt, using fire, burning the edges, using sandpaper, pulling it. There's various means that you can do to achieve this look or whatever look you are trying to obviously achieve. So pick the one that best works for you or whatever, whatever you are able to use with the tools or items that you have at your disposal. So a few episodes ago, I made some leather pieces and what we're going to be doing is we're going to start connecting these layer pieces together. The one that's a circular elongated shape and the square one. Uh, these are just going to be attached by hot glue to the underside of the brown one. Um, the burgundy ones are going to be obviously underneath. And like I said, they're just going to be hot glue. You can use whatever other means you have on reinforcing it, whether it's using black webbing or actually sewing it to that fabric. That way you are able to um, secure it to your side and I have it pretty far up. So I'm going to be attaching it there on my right side and then obviously I'm going to do the same to my left. And here you can just see I've done some hot gluing 
Once you guys have that done, we're we'll be connecting these slats uh, that I made for the second video in this tutorial series. I'm just going to be using some black webbing connected to the top slat of each of the four, like you currently see on screen for where I'm indicating. And then I'm going to be attaching it to the burgundy leather. You obviously see that middle one. I have left it not done with a lot of threads and that's simply due to the fact that when I was initially doing these, I was uh, becoming distraught or very uh, lacking in ambition and filling them so I designated one of them to not be done to save me on time because that one would be covered up with the fabric that is the blue and white fabric like you see that I did at the very beginning of this video so what you're gonna do cut some black webbing pieces connected to the top plates like you currently see uh, or have seen on video and then we're gonna be gluing it to the leather pieces that way they have some mobility and it's able to move around your hips like you or move around with the leather and such once doing that we're going to be connecting the other plate section to the front of the bottom of the chest plate same method except we're going to have a little bit extra length in the black webbing that way it sits in line with everything else and here you guys can currently see what it's going to look like try and match it up with how you do it yourself that way you put the proper length and such now we're going to be adding some pattern to the brown pants i'm going to be having a reference image on screen to what i mean but i just cut it out this piece of paper with those six lines or six section of lines cut out and I'm just using some spray paint and some cardboard to mask off areas as I move it down the paper um, just keep doing that all the way it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna add some inconsistency which is something we're looking for and if there's any issue it's gonna be covered up when we age and distress this fabric once doing that also, I should mention that that template is going to be linked in the description, but once we've done that, we're going to be connecting the leather pieces that have all the wood slats around it to the top torso section, and I'm going to simply be doing that using buckles. Uh, so what you're going to do is connect it to those leather pieces that are connected to the front plate, like you see on such, and then as you see on screen you're going to have the hot glue to the top leather section make sure you have the correct buckle matching with each other side um, if you have some issues understanding what i mean you'll see it shortly because i'm going to be putting on the rest of the armor pieces the reason i have two different buckles is because i could not find the same matching pairs so here i'm doing a test fit of what we have done so far the pants with the pattern that's sprayed on uh, the shin guards, I'm just tying them up making sure you know you have the right one on the right one and the left on the left And then afterwards what you're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be throwing on my chest piece. I'm able to throw the entire thing on with the shoulder bicep pieces as well and Anyways, this has been my video so far. This is part one of the fabric weathering and aging section I'm gonna be making the shirt portion next part next week. I'm gonna be driving up to Montreal and pass that uh, tomorrow so I am trying to get this out in time so that way it's not as lengthy as what it would be but next week I'll be covering like I said the shirt portion the final assembly of everything aging distressing of the fabrics that have to be done and we'll be done this actually so if you guys have been enjoying this uh, leave a comment share subscribe put this out that'd be greatly appreciated if you have any comments or concerns message me there'll be a link to my facebook profile in the description or comment on this youtube video anyways this has been kyle from Gradable props and i hope you guys have a good day and i'll leave you with the rest of the video also i should mention that the leather strapping piece that has all the slats that's going to be connected to the top with a buckle I have it a little bit too low. Uh, this is the first test.
test but this way it gives you guys the idea of what the look is going to be so by the time next video comes around that issue with the length is going to be sorted.